Hello friends, as you know Meta has released its latest LLM LAMA3 yesterday. So in this video I am testing how does LAMA3 performs in generating a hematology PVF report. I have not fine tuned it and I am not using any rag in this video. I am comparing it with the chat GPT4. So as you can see on my screen, on the left hand side there is a chat GPT4 window. In the middle one, I will be opening LAMA3 8 billion. And on the right hand side, I will be opening Lama 3 70 billion model. So I have set up my test screen. Let's directly ask a simple question and ask it to write a peripheral blood report for a 20 year old female diagnosed with vitamin D vital deficiency. Let's see. How does all these three perform? So the responses on all of the three windows are now generated. But from a very quick look, we can say that this is not how we write a PBF report. So let us first give it a sample PBF report. And let's see whether it improves or the result comes same. So I will start a fresh new window for all these three. I will set Lama 3 8 billion in this window and Lama 70 billion in this window. So this time I have drafted a very small basic uh, template like how I write a PBF report. It is not much elaborated but yeah. So this is my prompt. I am a pathologist and you will act as my helpful assistant for pathology report writing. I am providing you a sample PBF report of a patient diagnosed with iron deficiency anemia. In this, I have basically described how do I write a report. So I have described the basic morphology of the RBC in case of iron deficiency anemia. WBC and platelet are not my concern for this test. And in the end, uh, I just gave the diagnosis and some advice. So I have asked it. That from now onwards, uh, I will give you the basic detail of the patient and the disease diagnosis, and it will give me a detailed PBF report using the same format. So I will give the same prompt to all these three. And let's see. So this time I will see. I am hoping that these models should improve. So this time I'm hoping that now models should understand that how I want the report to be. So let's give it an example, 20 year old female. And let's say she has vitamin B12 deficiency. And I will write the same thing and there are two. So the chat GPT understood my prompt very well and now it is showing like uh, mild to moderate macrocytosis basically the finding about uh, vitamin b12 deficiency interestingly it has also mentioned an hypersegmented neutrophil although it has mentioned hypersegmented neutrophil in the rbc section it should have mentioned in the wbc section but yeah that is one of the peculiar finding about the macrocytic anemia specifically vitamin b12 deficiency anemia so in case of lama 8 billion uh it has just initially it has given some patient id patient name basic 
uh, headings. After that, RBC. Okay, so it has generated answer in a bullet point format. But let's see. Uh, reduce density. Okay, but yeah, no, it is not hypochromic uh, morphology, microcytic hypochromic. It is mentioning in the vitamin B12 deficiency. So it is not at all good. It is just copy pasting my prompt because it has shown like tear drop cell, few target cells. It is not that. Uh, it should have shown some macrocyte, few macrocytosis. So the interpretation is also wrong because it is taking microcytic hypochromic anemia and all the findings. So let's see how does this 70 million model perform. Here it is correct. RBCs are macrocytic cells and isocytosis, cytosis, although EOK, yeah, few tear drop cells might be seen. This is good. Oval macrocytes uh, are the, one of the findings for megaloblastic anemia. Then whole jolly body is okay. Uh, basophilic stippling, okay. So I liked the 70 billion one amongst all of these three. Although if it had mentioned hypersegmented neutrophil, then I would yeah, it has it has mentioned few hypersegmented neutrophil also. I missed it. So yeah, the I like 70 billion parameter uh, Lama 3 model amongst these three. Let's uh, give another example to it. Uh, this time I will give a little bit tough 10 year old male thalassemia measure. Let's see. Okay, so 70 million one, uh, it has already generated. So this time I will start from here only. A uh, 10 year old male, thalassemia measure. So RBCs are microcytic hypochromic, that's okay. Correct. Target cells, and isocytosis, poiglocytosis, many fragmented cells, that's also correct. Tear drop cells, numerous nucleated L RBCs that are NRBC. Yeah, I'm happy that it has mentioned many NRBCs are seen because these are seen in case of thalassemia measure. Um, okay, so uh, I think the model doesn't understand that uh, what would be the finding of the WBC in case of thalassemia measure. So it is just copy pasted from the prompt itself that few reactive lymphocytes are seen because I gave in my prompt. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, few reactive lymphocytes. I gave it just to see like whether it uh, modifies it or not. So it has given diagnosis as thalassemia measure. And the advice is all advice are also correct. Hemoglobin electrophoresis is one of the things that we advise, and genetic counseling is another advice. So it is good. Coming to Lama 7 billion parameter, uh, Lama 3, 8 billion parameter. I'm sorry. So again, it has generated answer in bulleted format. I think it can be. Uh, tweak with just a little bit of prompting, like I want answer in paragraph format or something like that. But right now I'm not doing that. I'm just focusing whether the content generated is at par with medical concepts or does it require fine tuning. So again, uh, it is using hypochromic. Uh, here in this case, it is correct. But from our previous answer, I'm not so sure whether it is just copy pasting microcytic hypochromic or it is using its own knowledge. Uh, presence of numerous NRBCs with uh, varying degree of development. I like this line because uh, I honestly I didn't hope that 8 billion parameters would give me this output. And lastly, if I go, okay, serial blood count to monitor response to treatment. It is one of the recommendations, okay, uh, blood transfusion, chelation therapy. Anyways, it forgot to give the advice for. Uh, hemoglobin electrophoresis. Let's see if it, it has mentioned somewhere else. Okay, so it has not mentioned here. Now come to coming to chat GPT four. Uh, microcytosis, hypochromia, severe anisocytosis, target cell tear drop cell, NRBC. Okay, mild neutropenia, lymphocytosis, depending on the screening function. That's interesting. Anyways, again, amongst all of these three, I personally liked uh, 
the output generated from the Lama 370 billion models. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's do one last test. Let's see if it can generate a bone marrow aspirate report. This time I'm not giving any prompt. I'm just using its own knowledge base, like how does it generate a bone marrow aspirate report. So I will just say, can you write a bone marrow aspirate report of this case? And by this, we will also test whether it remembers the last case was of thalassemia major and not of vitamin B12 deficiency or iron deficiency. While ChatGPT4 is still generating the answer, the 70 billion parameter and 7, 8 billion parameter of Kamatri model has already given me the output. I will see again from there. Uh, I will start from the 70 billion one. Uh, so let's quickly go through it. Cellularity, hypercellular marrow with increased erythroid series, reverse TAMI ratio. Okay. Uh, it, so it is mentioning about erythroid cells, myeloid series, megakaryocytes. So are normal lymphoid series iron stores. So yeah, comparatively, I'm happy with the uh, bone marrow aspirate report because in case of previous report, I had to give it a prompt, like how do I want the report to be. But while in case of uh, bone marrow aspirate report, if I go through all of these three, they are maintaining a specific format that we generally follow in case of one respirate report depending upon the various hospital and lab protocols this might change a little bit but more or less it it is same so this was my comparison about pathology report generation using a an example of hematology i have not fine tuned it so what do you guys think? Should I uh, fine tune this model with a uh, specific pathology knowledge base example and can be tested on FNSC report and uh, biopsy report? If you want me to create a video on that, let me know in the comment section. That's all for this video. Thank you.